so very very good afternoon friends warm welcome on behalf of doctors risk medical legal services a company which is mumbai based working from mumbai from last 16 years for doctors and only for the doctors and we proudly feel blessed that people have trusted us in last 16 years we have handled 16000 issues across the country and served a doctor in every given situation by sharing our knowledge and expertise in court of law when it comes to medical negligence cases and we all proudly say that out of 16000 not even 0.5% has gone to the court of law which is the need of the hour because no doctor wanted to have a case against them because they earn their reputation with lots of efforts one case one simple case can ruin their life and we are successful in supporting our doctors during pre litigation issues and with our experience we give all credit to the education i found that only way to protect my doctor only way to support my doctor only way to give a confidence in them for their good work what they do for the society is educating them in subject which they are not aware of medical law is one subject which my doctor are not much aware of and since they are not aware of they do a lots of mistakes during their routine practices which leads in litigation so today we are here to discuss about the importance of writing importance of certification importance of documentation importance of medical record in a series of lecture i have already spoken on opd paper i have spoken on various impact on doctor and in litigation when we write something on letter head we have given a understanding about writing a medical certificate giving a referring letter giving a certificates of the character or even the will in the journey lot still remained and we definitely wish to complete people who have missed any of sessions of this series of medical record and document are requested to go to doctor sirs youtube channel or educate dr mishra ya arun mishra's youtube channel you will find all series of lectures uploaded there you may find lots of sessions uploaded on gifs website also global institute of education society site also so if you have missed anything you can definitely upgrade your knowledge by attending that today we are going to deal with another domain of a certification which is a death certificate domain death certificate plays a vital role in medical practice and i have found multiple cases happen in the past in relation to death certificate so we are going to have a session on that we will first understand the liability in death certificate how and what way we are responsible to give a death certificate and what are the liabilities in death certificate and definitely i am going to speak on defenses part how and what will going to protect us for any scenario situation in during practice when we knowingly or unknowingly issue a death certificate which can lead to litigation death certificate is a very very important document during our practice which somewhere or other we are bound to give we are forced to give we have been compelled to give including the context and concept of a death declaration because there is lots of confusion i found across the country amongst the doctor in respect to death declaration and death certificates but as per the law concerned both are different both are absolutely different so let's understand this particular law today and upgrade our knowledge because 
if you are aware of these facts, probably you'll not indulge in a such activity which can lead to a problem or litigation to you. Yes, if time permit, I am definitely going to take another part of documentation. Lots remain in documentation. I need to speak much on that because that is the only difference which I found is a great difference for my doctors. I fight for my doctor in criminal court. I argue a matter for my doctor in civil court. Let it be consumer fora or district forum or could be a civil court. If I argue for my doctor in medical council, only thing, a great weapon which I have got in my hand is a medical record. And if medical records are good, presentation is going to be add on support to that and results are favorable. In medical records, yes, certification plays a vital role. So let's understand this particular context and concept today. This beautiful concept I have spoken last week for some group of a doctor on the same topic, but I really wish to extend this to other doctors who are not in that particular session to understand about the context and concept of death certificate. If I talk about death certificate, it starts with RBD Act, the Registration of Birth and Death Act 18, 1969. This was an act of central government, which was adopted by various states. And because of this act, the registration of death and birth become important for the government and mandate for the doctors. Being a doctor, we are definitely needed to give a certificate whenever requirement comes. As per the act, we are legally bound also. So naturally, when you know the cause of death, you need to certify the same as a cause of death for helping a family for disposing of the body. RBD Act is very clear that who can give a certificate, who cannot give a certificate, under what provision you are legally bound, what are the penalties if you violate something, and how you are protected in error of judgments. So, so beautiful act, which can really protect a doctor if doctor knows about this. And then followed by the local laws of various municipalities, various gram panchayats, various local authorities are definitely going to be great support. So we are going to learn all this. What is mentioned there, how we are protected, what are the different domain, and who all can give. I always get a question from many Ayush doctors, you know, homeopathic doctors and then Ayurvedic doctors and Unanipathy doctors. Also, ki, kya hum certificate de sakte hai? Kya hume certificate dena allowed hai? Kyoki hummare paas bhi patient aate hai, humko bhi demand karte hai. So let me start with that. The act of every Pathy very clearly, categorically says that their registered doctors are allowed to give any types of certificate, which includes your death certificate. If there is a silent word in certificate, then it can be explored. All certificate means including your death certificates. So even homeopathic doctor can give a death certificate who are registered with respective council. Even Ayurvedic doctor can give a certificate who are registered with their respective council and allopathic doctor can give a certificate with when they are registered with respective council, including the Unani Pathy doctor. So every RMP registered medical practitioner by default are allowed to give a death certificate or any types of certificate per se. Jitti bhi certificate ki mein baat kar raho, wo sare certificate can be given by every doctor. Again, death certificate definitely attracts a lot sincereness, lot honesty, lot thought before it been issued. Because you have a broad dead patient in the hospital. Mein. Broad dead diseased people come to the clinic. Pe. And then we struggle because we have been compelled to give a death certificate. And we struggle because cause of death is not known. And when cause of death is not known, then where will you write it? And why will you write it? Because of the influence of the people, you may write and tomorrow it turned out to be unnatural and you are in trouble. 